Bueno. Vamos a ver My friend, who are you? I'll brush your teeth. Can you imagine? I saw them in a hotel with men. Hotel? Yes. Do you what? They are into mobile prostitution. What does that even mean? Come on, mom. Are you not on point? If you are DM now, what's up? All those mobile prostitution. Jennifer! house anymore. Besides, we need money to go back to school. You need any money to go back to school? Is hotel your school? Eh? I'm asking you and you want to sell your body for it. We couldn't borrow money from anyone or even our friends. So we decided to follow one of them. We decided to follow one of them? Hey Jennifer, did you hear yourself? You decided to follow one of them? I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you! Yes, Mom. We need to raise money for our school fees. We can't stay in this house anymore. What did I hear you say? Eh? Rita! Even you! Or just have a look okay? Even you! Mr. Manager, what rubbish are you talking about? I came to your branch last week to demand my late father's statement of account. So how is a 35 million missing from the same account? How? Sir, the money was withdrawn legitimately. That's rubbish, this is How do you mean withdrawn legitimately? I hope you did not give that money to my younger brother. No. Sir, I don't have the power to do so. Please count down and hear me out. The money was transferred from your father's account electronically. Yes, sir. Maybe someone has his account details to be able to do that. You see? This is why I was demanding that you give me a statement of account. I mean, let me have his details. Let me be in charge. I told you, you refused. You see? Sir, please, try to understand. Understand what? What? I sense a weave of conspiracy right here. Tell your bank to be ready. And if I find out that you have a shady role in this whole thing, I will personally euthanize you before I hand you over to the police. Bet me. Babu Oguna injection. Babu final. Now get out of my house. Get out! Get out! I'm hiding me now. Get out! I have called all our friends to help us, but none of them can lend us money for our school fees. How do you expect them to help us? When they're fully aware that we came from rich parents. Seriously. 
But I used to help them. I used to lend them money. That's my for you. We can't blame them. We have mothers who pushed us into begging. It's all right, Rita. But we have to go back to school. Our exams will soon start. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Mister. All this wouldn't happen if you didn't die from that very crash. It's okay. We need to stay strong for all. <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> It's okay, it's alright. It's okay. It's okay, stop crying. It's okay, it's okay. Stop. Uncle. I'm sorry about what happened the last time during our meeting. Well, you owe apology to your uncles and not just to me. It's fine. I will make it up to them. I want you to do me a favor. You know that our land at Obanze, yeah. that family land, mm -hmm. I want to personalize it. Yes. I want to make it my own personal land. So I need your help. I know you can convince the elders. Talk in my favor. But do you know that that land belongs to you and your brother? That land belongs to me and my stupid, greedy elder brother. Okay? I know that. That's why I'm coming. Please, talk in my favor. Convince the elders. I want that land to be mine, as in my own, personally. I'm coming. Just talk in my favor, and more of this will come in your favor. Sorry, we will need it again, promise. 
I just want to give it to you so you can share with my uncles, my other uncles. Tell them my intention. My good intention. Thank you, sir. Hey, well, Ken, I dare you. I dare you, Ken. You think you can buy my conscience with this your so called money? I dare you. I try on me. I don't need your money. Abba, uncle. Huh? But I know you need the money. If you don't need it, your kids need it. <laughs> God has been providing for me and my family, Kenna. I don't need the money. Oh, Uncle, why are you really quite too stubborn? This land you're talking about is my own. It's my own by right. <laughs> Kenna, that land in question is supposed to be shared between you and your brother and not with the others. And if it must be shared, it must be after your father's burial, not before. I think you're not understanding me. I have not told you to relinquish that land to me. Ma! What do you share to me alone? Give me the power to share the land. Let me, as the first son, be the one to administer and do the things I have to do as I saw in my rights, my ancestral rights. In Do you hear what I said? That land should be shared between you and your brother. And then me, me. Okay, Uncle. All right. I'll increase it to 500,000, okay? This is extra 200,000 now. I'll increase 500,000 now. Okay? I don't need your money. I told him here. I told him here. Manager, what do you mean 35 million naira left my father's account? I told you to freeze that account. How can I freeze the account when I don't have any legal document stating your father's demise? I can't do that now. So you want death certificate? Exactly. That was the only thing that will make me to flood the account. So far, there haven't been unscrupulous activities going on in the account that warrants closure. So please. All right, that's by the way. Now tell me, how did 35 million naira left my father's account? How? Like I told you, sir, I do not know. But one thing is certain. The money was transferred to another bank electronically. That's the gospel truth. Now listen and listen real good. You are up to something, but I don't give a fuck. Yes. You have 24 hours to return that 35 million naira. Else, I'll say everybody. Shut up! Shut up! Mr. Chindi. Your mother told me of your school fees. 
And I'm very sorry I could not do something to that effect earlier. Possibly because I was thinking the problems between the brothers are going to be over by now. Unfortunately, I was mistaken. So I am sorry. Um, There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. Thank you, sir. These are your school fees and your pocket money or money for upkeeping school. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate so much here, my sister, with you. Uh, Thank you so much, sir. It's all right. Thank you, sir. We did it right. God bless you, sir. All right. One more thing. Thank you, sir. Please. Take good care of yourselves at school. Indeed, you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let us make hairs when the sun shines. Mm. We all know how good and kind hearted Edward used to be when he was alive. Oh. How he treated us. But it's very sad to say that his sons swore to smear his heart and reputation to the dust with their great. But we wouldn't let that happen. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't let that happen. Mm -mm. Because wherever Edward is now, he wouldn't expect us to fold our arms and watch his children kill themselves. So, we must put an end to anything that is going on between both of them. So that it will stop once and for all. Abby, my dear. Oh, my, yeah. My father Edward. Those boys surprised me. Could you imagine they visited me one after the other? Asked me to give them possession of their father's piece of land at Obanza Joshua. That massive piece of land. <laughs> Ichi. They came to me too. They offered me money. They offered me money. That's saying different type of things. I'm afraid though. Who judge Because those boys may kill themselves one day. And the other boy is trying to take the total possession of the land. Oh, yeah? And so, okay. Mm. You see, this is the main reason we should hit the nail on the head. We call it spade and spade so that this evil will stop once and for all. That is what we are doing. We are not doing anything. I blame ourselves for allowing this matter to prolong. Yes. How? If we had hammered the nail on the head, this matter would have stopped since. Why should you blame the elders? Are we the cause of all this havoc or catastrophic? Oh, yeah. Are we the cause? Ask him. Ask him. Why wouldn't you speak before them? If you have to work. I let them to them now because they are passing so dubious. I don't uh, I've told you before not to worry about this. Is it not their school fees? That's how we give it to you. Hey, you should not worry about it. I mean, your children. They are my children too. Okay. No, thank you so much, Chief. It's okay. I really appreciate. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I can see you're happy now. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's your turn to make me happy too, you know. I don't understand. No, I mean you should understand. Come inside the car. Let's start from here. So you give me just a very good romance in the car. Then we move to a classic hotel in town and finish the whole thing. Are you not? No, 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 no. You must be drunk. Wait, oh, Chief. I thought you were a responsible man. I am. May God have mercy on your soul. Uh -uh. Nonsense. Madam, what, what's wrong with her? I'm just trying to help my friend Chief Edward. And she's just behaving like a kid. She thinks I throw money around. No. Then when I can get here, I can get here. I can get this is it. You like it? Madam, I think I can go for it. <laughs> you have a very good test. So how much are they? 60,000. 60,000 for what? Huh? Ify, why are you sounding like this? I know how much my husband bought this. Eh? <laughs> What I can pay is for 25,000 Naira. 25,000? Because I've seen the jewelries. They don't want their man to your calling. Look at it very well. This is pure gold. 
pure gold. Hey, 25,000 is too small now. Eh? I told you that uh, I want to pay my daughter's uh, school fees. Are you ready to sell or not? If you please, don't do this. Don't do this. Eh? Okay, add something to it so that uh, I'll be able to pay uh, uh, one person's uh, school fees with it. I don't have. That is what I have for now. If you don't mind. Hey, she make uh... Give me now. Our oh, bread is better than now you're talking. Tea. Here it is. Add something now, please. That is what I have. My hey, it's Some more data. Thank you. Oh. Nice doing business with you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. What is this? What will I do with this 25,000 Naira? I cannot see myself. Me. Edna. Wife of Chief Edward. Ah, oh, God. No. I can't do such rubbish. I can't. has gotten to a level where it can never go under. It can only go up, up, up. That's it. Listen, everything is planned. Everything has been well taken care of. You, the kids, the house, help all of us for today, for tomorrow. You don't ever need to work. Okay. Love, you need to 
keep us together. Sweetie, sweetie, oh, and our son, love, unity, keep us together. Where are you? I'll be calling your phones. And batteries are dead now. Ah, mommy, Barista Ben called us. He said you should come over. You should have told me before leaving. Mom, you got me worried. You are asleep when you are going. And we don't want to wake you up. He gave us our school fees. Are you serious? Yes, Mom. Too much money. How? You are going back to school, Mom. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but mommy, you have to call him and thank him. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, he even gave us money for our cupcake. Yes. I will do that right away. Yes, oh my God. So finally, you are going back to school. Hi, yes. God. I can't thank you enough. For... Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Jesus. How do I have peace in my house? I didn't say you shouldn't, you shouldn't have peace. That's not what I'm talking about. But one thing I want to remind you is that what you and your brother are doing is shameful and it will lead you to nowhere good. Okay, well, let me worry about that. Huh? Yes. Chindi, what happened to you? Huh? What? I'm fine. You're not? Because if you're fine, you will not allow your mother to be moving up and down begging people for money when she has a supposedly son like you. Stop! Stop making me feel guilty. Guilty? Yes. Of course you're guilty. You and your brother are guilty of this. And you know it. And I don't understand. Your untimed ego has degenerated to stupidity. And is leading you to nowhere. Nanya. Nanya. Slap me. Nanya. Chimdi, slap me. Ma, ma. Ma, no, no. Slap me for not supporting you. Slap me for not taking sides with you. I just want you to know one thing. You and your brother has destroyed this family. Your father's house, no deal. You think I'm afraid of going? I'll just leave you and go. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of all children. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Lord, I have come to you, and I know you will never disappoint me. I know you will never let me down. I've never gone down on my knees before and you, you disappoint me. You don't have come here in your presence. I have come here, oh Lord, to call on you. Father, come and take care of our family. Lord, I decree peace. Let there be peace in this household. Let there be peace, oh Lord. Father, bring peace between my husband and his brother. I decree peace, oh Lord. I decree peace in the name of Jesus. Father, every spirit of separation, every spirit of confusion, I come against it. I nullify it in the name of Jesus. It shall not stand and it shall it come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every spirit, O Lord, King of glory, that have possessed them, that, O Lord, they keep fighting and quarreling. Lord, I take it away from them in the name of Jesus. Let your peace reign in their heart. Let your peace reign in this household. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree peace, O Lord. My children, we sent for you. In respect of your request concerning your father's land in a band's junction. Tonko, we talked about this. You and I had a private talk on this issue. We had an agreement. What, what are you raising the issue again for? Mm. Your brother came for the same purpose. Mana. We are not happy. The way you people treated us, the last time we came to your house. Oh, Guinea. You know, name is And, um, they complained that to Igwe. 
Igwe was not happy with your actions. Mm. Had he instructed that it should bring back your father's corpse for burial? Macron no meraro. To fiakwa! Where meraro the dog was? You people have brought shame to this family. And also brought shame to the others. We are shame of you people. And if you people don't take time, we will add more. We will add more into your punishment. They cannot. the on the head. That is a simple thing. Okay, I know you live on one Okay, I I Listen, two of you. Hmm. We are giving you two weeks from now. Bam. To do exactly as we said. Else, we will hand over this matter to Igwe and the Oracle. Who is here? Rabi. Aka is here. Aka is here. Aka is here. Aka is here. Aka Honestly speaking, I feel like beating up you all. Hmm? Especially you. You hmm? see? <laughs> I came here. We had an agreement. I gave you people my hard earned money. You people collected. Now you have the gods to sit down here and tell me, Nyaisha of any family, we don't, like seriously. Nanya, I swear. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not As for you, take your money. 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 Oh, yeah, of course, since he's here, this is the boy the behind this whole trouble. Hey! Anyway, that does not mean I am happy with you all. You will regret these things you did today. Oh, God, you will. Listen, 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 listen to me. Edward, you know, my name. Edward, you know, who I am, and what you are now. My parents, you know, they will disrespect. You give to me, you give to Edward. And I will make sure none of you get anything from my family again. And I will make sure I grow that. Listen, 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 Yes, this is uh, Chief Edward's wife. What? What did you just say? Come in peace. You come in peace with that fringe in your hand. I see. Now you can drop yours. If you must dine with the devil, make sure you use a long spoon for safety. It's all right. We have to stop this nonsense. We have to. Okay? We have to do what is expected of us. Which is? Burying daddy peacefully. And then plan on how to share his wealth after the will has been read. That's all. So you're asking me to cease fire? Well, if that's what you call it. What do you propose? What if we go get the compensation money together, you and I? And as a matter of fact, you 
we'll go get the money. Okay? Then you can bring it. Then we administer it. We use it and do what we have to do. Then bury that peacefully. That's what I'm saying, man. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Stop being a nigga, boy. Nigga, please. Beg him, please. Chill, nigga. All right? Come on. That's my stubborn boy. It's a stubborn nigga. This love, unity, keep us together. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a Keep us together oh, Happiness is our choice Peace, love, unity Keep us together Darling, darling ah, Sweetie, sweetie Oh, and our son Peace, love, unity Keep us together Oh, Chindi, congratulations. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself now. Uh-uh. You're a smart guy. You're a smart guy. So where is Pops' cops? Oh, so you arranged the disappearance of his cops, right? Okay. I see you're smarter than me. And you will never open everything I did to make sure we, we stop this disgrace. You're still going ahead. What? Me. I'm the one. Look, I'm just coming out of the mortuary. All the other passengers, they are all. Only your dad is missing on the list. Because you're trying to be smart. Chimbi, Chimbi, I promise you, I promise you, as far as God liveth, you will regret this. You will regret it. <laughs> and who, what, what, what is the reason for this jackass laugh right now? What is it? Your brother is one hell of a smart guy. I must give it to him. He sure knows how to deceive and plan ahead. Mm. Mm. I like you. So what, what nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> I am trying to say that your brother doctored everything. He snatched away your father's cup, waiting for the day that you will come looking for it. I warned you. I warned you to forget about the compensation money and pursue the bigger one, but you will not listen. Are you suggesting that my brother knows the whereabouts of my father's cops? Is that what you're saying? It's obvious. It is very obvious that your brother snatched away your father's cops. Waiting for a day like this, you start looking for it. And I'm very sure he has collected the compensation money. It's not possible. <laughs> How can that be? Mm. That's not true. If that is ever true, I swear with my life, I'll put his head on the pike. Buy a syringe, Babuel. Mm. Buy a syringe, and survive, mm. Then bomb Doctor Akashi. Mm. Come. Doctor, come. Mm. Come. <laughs> Let me tell you. Hmm? Things like this happens to men who don't listen to their wives. You claim to know it all. But let me remind you again of your foolishness. By the time your stepmother succeed in gathering every of your father's properties to herself, <laughs> that one hey, is another good actor. She's just pretending and you are following suit, claiming or saying that she's harmless. By the time that woman is done with you, the bigger shock is coming soon, my dear husband and first son. <laughs>
Where is the love? Where is the love? Mommy, I still find it hard to believe. My dear, I've not said I believe it yet. But it was his voice I heard on the phone. Are you sure about it? Mm. Let's wait for him to come. Then we have access to our question. Yes. So you are alive. Where is he? Where's the bastard? Huh? Dad, you're still alive. You can see, I am alive, very much alive. I'm disappointed in both of you. Hello, Mom. Yes, well, good afternoon. I'm fine. Mom, I've made up my mind. I'm leaving this house. Yes, they are still fighting. Mom, I want to leave before they hurt me. No, he's not around. I should wait. Mom, you know waiting for him is of no consequence. Okay, ma, I'll wait. Yes, mom, you're right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting. 
All right, Mumbai. Can't sing the both of you together. The fact that he's eating what belongs to me is it's frustrating me. Babe, I can't do it. It's frustrating. It's okay. I want to be with you more than anything in the world. Okay? But we just need to stay apart for now till my plans clicks. I love you so much, Andrew. I love you too much. I really do. After both of you dropped me off at the airport and left, there was a flight delay during which time I got a call from my business associate, Chief Obuka. He asked that I come to the office for an urgent business discussion. I obliged and left the airport, meaning to return to meet boarding time. As I was on my way to my office, Very 
very rich man, a wealthy man. I have money, money, lots and lots of it, and I'm willing to pay your price. Yes, just name your price. Name your price, anything at all. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You should be talking about seeing your last prayer, eh? telling me about flight. Are you okay? You see how the fucking woman? No, are you okay? You have it! <laughs> 
Bye, half time. Hurry up. to me. 
me. You don't know where I am. You don't know if I'm alive. You don't know if I am dead. Ben, you knew this all along and you hid it from the family. That was wicked. You never gave me a chance to do so. You were busy fighting with your brother. Dad, I'm short of words. Please, forgive me. I'm sorry. Dad, please forgive us. Don't be the cause this thing. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna carry you from here. Sorry, I had to make you go through this whole pain. Really, really sorry. I wish there was another way I could do it. But. Stay down with me. I failed. I could not unite the children together. No. No. You tried. You tried. That showed the extent of your love for this family, for If I die today, I will die happy, satisfied that I have a wife, a wife that would never disappoint, a wife that will always stand in my family, hold my family, stand tall. Thank you. 
you fight with your brother. It's pointless being your wife when you can't listen to me. I'm going. Dad is back and alive. What? You get me now, okay? Dad was not in that plane that crashed. He's at home, as we speak. You're joking. I'm dead serious. Oh. So please, you must not leave me now. Not now. Dad is at the verge of his own loss. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to leave. I, I was just... What do you mean by he's not dead? Eh? I was shocked to see him at home. He didn't make the flight. He was kidnapped. Oh shit! Oh shit! He was kidnapped and you never bothered to check in all this while? It's obvious. I'm sure, I'm sure he was observing from somewhere. Observing what? Observing what? Instead of him to apologize for this expensive joke, he sits down there to talk about observation? I mean, what is that you remain dead? Meaning what? Meaning in meaning now. Meaning it anyhow. Anyhow you want to mean it. Mean it. Are you suggesting that I kill my dad? God forbid! God forbid! Please, oh! I did not ask you to kill anybody. I'm only saying that. Men looking at you, you are not going younger. You need to take over from your father. Oh, but yes, you first die a natural death before I talk about taking over from him. How can you take over from a man that's still alive? <laughs> I don't even think I have a chance anymore. Oh my God. It's what I and my brother have done. But I don't stand a chance with this man anymore. Oh my God. Not now. Not now. You should have just remained dead. Not now. We need to move to the next level. Can't you see this? You cannot. Eh? Do you want to suffer? Ah, God. Damn. What have you considered about the boys? Which boys? Our sons. I do not want to have anything to do with that topic. Nothing to do with the boys. Please, spare me that. Darling. Their sons, no matter what they have done. After destabilizing the family, after scattering this family. Do 
not bring up this issue of your boys for discussion again. What I'm focusing on is, is Chifu Uka and his boys and how to get them arrested for kidnapping me. Jesus, may your name be praised. Your name. <laughs> what is this? It's love, unity, keep us together. Anani, anani, jaka, wana, sonwa, papa. Peace, love. No, 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 no. Calm down. You need to take this thing easy. Let's think of a plan. My dear, there is nothing to think about. That's much you told, just messed everything up for us. I think there's another way out of this. Alright? My dear, the only way out of this is to eliminate this man. You have to take him out. Exact same thing I told my husband. But he refused. We need to kill this man. Otherwise, we lose everything. And that means we'll be wasting our time on our own. I know, Andrew. But there had to be another way. I'm going to kill that man. And I can reach to get that done immediately. No, no, no. His son, my husband, has to be aware of this. And he needs to give his consent into eliminating his own father. Please. You don't get it, do you? I do. I doubt. So what have you come to do in my house again? Fight? I come in peace. You can now. I am not here to fight you. There is no point fighting each other when the person we are fighting over his wealth is still alive. It doesn't make sense. Good boy. And I'm sure you've gone to make peace with him. I tried, but to no avail. Papa is very, very angry with us. And we need to do something about it. What is it? You're still pleased with us, Both of you are still here. That would be good. Please, we are sorry we messed up. We are sorry. Be good, Daddy. I talk to you. Apologize. I am not here for any apologies. Not here. Any apologies? No. Uh, uh, Daddy, please. We know we failed you. In fact, we should be ashamed of ourselves, but we are sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive us. Forgive us, please. If his stupidity and greed landed us here. Daddy, Daddy, are you seeing what I'm saying now? You first you're very stupid. If I slap you then you know what I'm talking about. Ah! You try of this of you to see him now and apologize and let him forgive us for accusing, accusing me. That he, he keeps saying he can't respect me. That he doesn't trust me. That he can't respect me. That's just the problem. Am I supposed to trust you? Am I supposed to trust you? You get me more. Don't get me angry here. You're not that you now. 
I'm his senior brother now. And so, are you behaving like one? This is not brother after that. Are you behaving like one? See how you're responding to me. Whatever I say, you say to me. Mother, this is not wrong. Hey, hey, hey. Would you see a job? Look at your eyes. See your eyes. Red. Red, not because I know you don't, you can't, I mean, I, in your present social position, you can't smoke in book. No, are you sure? But check on my friend. Even your own eyes, look at, look at your own eyes. Red also. Red from what? Hate. You hate your brother. You hate your brother. Malice. Hatred. This God is sheer both of you. Prying you apart. Keeping you apart. You can never unite. You are incapable of uniting. So go ahead. See. Please say after you say. Give me one. And you. Seven apples. Go ahead. Fight. Fight. Kill one another. You want to fall him down? You see? You saw it, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Please, now. Oh. Sorry, daddy. Please, sorry, daddy. You don't forget. So that's what you plan. Yes. Please, daddy. Don't do this. I'm sorry. Sorry, daddy. It's all right. Sorry, daddy. It's all right. Sorry, daddy. Daddy, be gone. Stupid. Daddy, be gone. You see what you have cost. Instead of you to just stay and beg and apologize, you are busy looking for who, who did what. Eh? He was the one that started it. If I was the one that started it, what did you do? You don't want to respect your senior brother. Do you know why I even came here with an animal? Mata Kisnoro. Omwege. Mata Kisnoro. Get down. Mata Kisnoro. You call yourself an elder brother. Are you behaving like what? Are you behaving like what? Your stupidity and greed. Let me see here. Who? Oh, Inna was him stupid. Of course, that's what you are. Me stupid. Chindi. I'm with your mates. Yes. Mata Choko. Mbaragu syringe. This is a fight for you. Oh, Dr. Afonshi. Of course, that's what you are. Dr. Afonshi, that's what you are. It's the Raja. Listen, when we contract you, have you heard about Monday Hammer? Not Tuesday, not Wednesday. Monday Hammer. If I use my Monday Hammer on you, on call the Monday Hammer, it could be yours. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your stupidity and greed. Let me not see it. Me, stupid. Yeah. How am I supposed to cheer up when my father has disowned me? No, no, he hasn't. Why then is he finding it difficult? Honey, your father's feeling was deeply hurt by you and your brother. He has every reason to be angry. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to kill myself. I said, I'm sorry. You need to give him some time to think about it. You know these things don't work like magic. You need to give him some time. You need to give him some time to make up his mind about you and your brother. And going to beg him ended up quarreling. It's, it's really exacerbating. I can't help but blame myself. But I, I, I don't know how to make that understand. How sorry I am. Truly sorry. And you see what you're going to do? Keep begging him. And don't be selfish about it. Yes. 
Each time you want to beg him, go with your brother. Go with him and prove to him that no matter what has happened, that the both of you are still one. Maybe by that way, he might have a change of mind. You should go home, relax, and think properly about what you're about to do. Ben, I am willing everything I have to charity. My sons have taught me how dangerous my wealth can be when I am gone. Chief, I appreciate the fact that you want to help the orphanage. Like, I'm happy about your generosity. But believe you me, we are talking about your family, your children. Don't you think at some point in their lives, they might need your money to further their lives or push on with their businesses? You listen to me. Everything my two sons have done recently has been money, money, money. They've attempted to kill themselves. They've even gone as far as scattering the very family fabric. I got to where I am by a dint of hard work. My sons should fend for themselves. Let them struggle and fend for themselves. That's it. But I want to ask you, is there anything I could do or say to you now that could make you change your mind or reconsider your stand on this. Absolutely nothing. My mind is made up. Go ahead. <laughs> Daddy, good day, sir. So I hope all is well. All is well, Daddy. Um, actually, we came to 
check on you. To know how you're faring. Sorry, Daddy. Have you eaten? I can get something special for you. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can see, yeah. I'm fine. Daddy, there's this new pot wine joint I discovered yesterday. Daddy, fresh pot wine. No? I can get you push mates to go with it tonight. What do you think? I was actually rushing to the market to get some things when I got your call. Oh well, I was in the gym when you called me in the morning. I hope all is well. All is well. Okay. Guess what? What? <laughs> guess, not try. I can't guess. I can't. You're not good at guessing. Ah, okay. Finally, finally, my husband has accepted for us to eliminate his father. Wow. Yes. That's great news. Mm -hmm. So we need to arrange for assassin as soon as possible. Oh. So 
How did you get into a good Oh, please. I don't need to stress myself in trying to convince anybody. Okay. I know very well that he needs his father's money, so convincing him was just like a waste of time. Oh, well, we need the money too. Of course, so we need to act fast. Yeah, I think we need to make a plan as soon as possible. Very, very. Um, we need to get to work. So, where are you off to right now? I'm off to the market. Um, where I drop you off? Don't worry, I'll just. My car is packed somewhere. Just take a cab then. Just pick my car from there. Alright, alright. Take care of yourself, man. Alright then. Um, I thank you, my brothers, for everything you did while I was away. My wife has uh, really relayed to me all your efforts at uniting my sons. For that I am grateful. Mm -hmm. You showed me that even if I had died in that crash, even if I had died of being there, that I have brothers, I have people that will hold this family together. Yes. Thank you very much. Akumo Express. How happy I was when I heard that you did not die in the plane crash. One, you have been mourning for the past one month. One, you are a very good man. You are such a good man, and that is why God kept you alive. Mm. Yes. Because I've been asking myself, how could God allow such a good man to pass on like that? Mm. Man, I know what God is. But in everything, God is merciful and faithful. Mm. Uh, very, 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 very. And again, I am, well, I'm sorry that you couldn't <coughs> unite yourselves before you came back. But you must understand that we have tried our best. <laughs> And um, that's actually uh, why I am thanking you people for making that attempt. Eh? And, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> thank you thank you so much. Thank you, please. Mm -hmm. But one more thing, I would like you to mm. forgive your sons. <clears throat> eh? Forget to forgive. And um, there's an idea that said that uh, when you hit a child with right hand, you use the left to throw him back. Mm. So exactly. Him. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. You see, uh, one of you can okay. cheer uh, what they're killing. Mm. I am thanking you so much for this. And that is why I used to say that you are such a good man. Yes. And God will continue to bless you. Uh, <laughs> you see, your children suddenly greet marveled everybody. To the extent that we started uh, 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 becoming afraid of them, maybe try to try to de destroy each other. In fact, they were on the verge of doing so mm. when you came back. I know. I know. Sorry. That's all right. You are right. Very, very right. That's why I have decided to will my wealth to charity. Yes. They will not touch anything I have. Mm -hmm. Let them struggle and fend for their families. Oh. You mean everything, as in everything? And Chanini? Everything. Hey. Hey. Like this. Mama, now I see why what you are hiding from me. What you're not telling me about my wife. 
I hope all is well. Mama, all is not well. He never told me she was a cheat. Regina, I don't understand what you're saying. Mama, stop pretending. I already caught her with a man on my matrimonial bed. Stop lying. I mean, for how long has this been going on? I have a feeling you know something about this. So she continued after my warning. I don't understand you. You can see. On the eve of your wedding, I walked into your wife having sex with another man. What? Mama, you, you saw this and you never told me. I'm sorry. Remember, it was your wedding. I couldn't ruin your wedding day. God. She knew I saw her. And she was waiting for me to tell you about it. I just couldn't. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Oh my God. What? I can't believe it. She still had the nerves to cheat on you. Where's Papa? He went out. But I called him that I was coming. I told him not to go anywhere. No matter what. I want to see him. What's going on? Okay. And I'm coming. I'll see you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hey, you're Mr. Andrew, right? Yes. What the place you can do for yourself is to remain silent. What? Once you get to the station, you explain yourself. Oh, yeah, move it. What? Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. What? What? what did I do? Move it. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. How did the police know he was going for a kill? Maybe someone gave them information. <sighs> Who could that be? Who could that be? Andrew is a very smart guy. He can't just be caught like that. Andrew. Is that his name? Andrew? You mean the guy we sent for the operation? Yes, that's his name. He must be very pissed and disappointed. He can't just be caught like that. For Pete's sake. Oh. Pete wait for you to be released. I see. For how long? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Amaka, how long have you been cheating on me? You've been having sex on my matrimonial bed, Amaka, with you. Amaka, you treated me like a fool right under my nose. You debased me. You insulted me. Ikena! I heard all your plans. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a devil. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a devil. I swear. It's a devil. Honey, you know I love you. My stepmom. Told me she caught you making love. Hey. With a man on the eve of our marriage. Hey. It's the devil, I swear. It's the Is devil. that why you despise her so much? I'm sorry. Your stepmom! Your stepmom! Your stepmom! Your stepmom! I kept wondering, what about this woman? That is why you don't hear of her, right? Hey. Amaka, you disappoint me. You confuse me. It's the devil. You treated me like a fool. Right under it to my own nose, Amaka. You were cheating. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry. The devil. This is the devil. Okay, fine. We are going to get his address. 
Okay? We're going to change location. Now we're going to change address. Right now, your contact has changed. Your address is now going to be the devil's address. So you're going to move into his house and start staying with this devil. Okay? I'm done with you. I'm done with this marriage. Like right now, I'm done. Honey, I'm sorry. Is that your phone? Okay. It's your phone, right? It's your phone, right? I don't want it to be broken so you can get your contact. The devil's contact is inside. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's all happening. Where are your slippers? Where are your slippers? I'm not an abusive man. I'm not going to touch you. Nobody's going to say I've been beating you. So get out of my house. Get out! Stop it! Ikenna, your wife has confessed to her involvement and yours in the attempt on my life. I, it wasn't my intention and it wasn't like I plotted it. I actually laid her on because I found out that she was a bit manipulative. Actually, that's why I called the police. I brought in the police. You brought in the police because you caught your wife cheating on you. You wouldn't have done so because you are unrepentantly desperate for my money, my wealth. No, Daddy, honestly. Dad, I'm please begging for your forgiveness. Just do let this go because I, I didn't have that as part of my intentions. It was just the moment and I... Sorry, Daddy. Honestly, again, it's hard to believe you could do such act. It's unbelievable. Yes, Mom. I didn't do it. So... Well... <sighs> Dad, Mom, please, from the deepest part of our hearts, we are sorry. From the look on our faces, you will know that we are, in fact, we regret our act. Please, forgive us. I did not call all of you out here to begin to listen to pleas of forgiveness, to begin to listen to apologies, to begin to listen to beggings and all that. I did not also call you out to begin to apportion blames. I actually blame myself. I blame myself for creating, for making wealth that is eating my family. Wealth that is destroying my family. world that has laid bare the blackness of your heart. My family will never be the same again. Things will never be the same again in this family. Don't say that, Daddy. Please don't say that. I have resolved that I'm going to will all my wealth to charity. I'm keeping my wealth away, keeping my wealth far away from both of you. Yes. I came to this town. I came to this area with just 20,000 naira, a paltry 20,000 naira. Let's see where I am today. I'm 
both of you. Both of you will have to fend for yourselves. You will have to work out your salvation. Yes. That's what I called everybody out here for. Daddy, Daddy, please. We're very sorry, Daddy. Daddy, please. You have, you have willed your wealth to the charity. Fine and good. We don't have a problem with that. But please, no matter what, we are still your children. All we ask for is your blessing. Please bless us, Miss Danny, so that we can start afresh. We need your blessings, please. We crave your forgiveness, Dad. We crave your forgiveness. Papa dead for taking away everything from me. But after what I saw today, I've come to realize that it's even wrong to hope in my father's love. And well, you know what they say? They say there is dignity in level and independence. And I'm happy this is coming from you. Someone said those words to me. I mean, look at me. I have all it takes to 
to stand and survive on my own. So why, why, why will I depend on my father's love? Baby, are you the one saying this or someone else? <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you've tried to understand life better. Honey, we will survive. We will survive where other people fail without financial support. Yes, believe me, we will. And you know I owe Papa a very big hug for this. Yes, I'm so happy. This love, unity, keep us together. This love, unity, keep us together. Oh, happiness is our joy. This love, unity, keep us together. Darling, darling, ah, sweetie, sweetie, oh, this love, unity, keep us together. Where there is love, there is trust. When there is love in the family, as you want to be concerned, it is not to a mother. Oh, what a beautiful family. Whoa, whoa, one day, my long one day. Whoa, whoa, I'm not a mother. Whoa, one day, my long one day. Whoa, whoa, it is not to a mother. Peace, love, unity, keep us together. 